Once again, we welcome to the hot seat resident GP, the lovely Dr. Kate Mills. Welcome once Hello, again. Hello, hi Steve. Blood pressure yes. today. Um, the other day, lift was broken here at work. We're on the second floor. Uh -huh. right? mm -hmm. I had to use the stairs, <laughs> two flights of stairs, up and down, several times in that day. Mm -hmm. uh, high blood pressure. Well, yes, your blood pressure does go up with exercise. It did. I, I'm yeah. telling you, it did. It was absolutely <laughs> shocking. Um, but what is it? What, blood pressure. So blood pressure is simply a measure of the pressure inside the blood vessels. So Pump in, pump out. Exactly. Yep. Pump in, pump. And you have two, uh, two parts to blood pressure. So you have a, um, a higher number, and that's the pressure when the heart is contracting. So it's pushing the blood. That's its maximum pressure through all the blood vessels. And the bottom figure is a reflection of the heart's resting pressure, about what, what pressure is left inside the blood vessels when the heart is completely relaxed. Okay. Mm. So when we're talking um, an average blood pressure or good blood pressure mm -hmm. is 130 over 80. Mm -hmm. Is that, that right? That is good, although blood pressure relates to age as well. Oh, okay. So, um, so a younger person, for for a very young person in in their you know teens, early twenties, one thirty over eighty might be slightly higher than we'd expect it to be at that age. Um, and so, yeah, it is relative to your age. And as you get older, we'd expect the blood pressure to go up slightly. Okay, right. mm. So, if if you're um, at your age, you're at a normal blood pressure, then mm. all of a sudden things start to to climb and it starts to get higher. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, all that it means is that the pressure inside your blood vessels is higher. So instead of working in a nice, you know, easy pressure system, it's like the force it's on really high and it's really pushing the blood through all the blood vessels, like if the tap's turned on, on high. And what, what would cause that? Um, lots of things can increase blood pressure. So being um, overweight, being unfit, being a smoker, um, and just your genetic inheritance. You know, mm. some people just have a genetically inherited condition which is high blood pressure where the blood pressure goes up at a certain point in their lives for no discernible reason other than that was when their body was programmed to have an increased you know uh, tension inside the blood vessels in their body. It is mm. easily um, again I guess it is these days because everything seems to be easily managed yeah. um, if you have high blood pressure. Yeah, it's very easily managed yes for some people all that means is uh, is encouraging a little bit of exercise and a little bit of weight loss mm -hmm. and then their blood pressure will come down but for some people even even that's not quite enough and those people sometimes end up on medication for their blood pressure so what happens over time is that if there's a high pr a high pressure inside your blood vessels it starts to prematurely wear down the inside of those blood vessels so you, so you start to get um, problems that are related to wear and tear inside the walls of the blood vessels. So things like um, heart disease, you know, uh, strokes, vascular disease, kidney disease, disease in the back of the eye. Has it got anything to do with the thickness of the blood? Mm. Like does the heart have to push more if, if the blood's... Thicker. Yes, yes, that, yeah, you're right, because the viscosity of the blood does relate oh, to word, how, much, how, thick, how thick it is, oh. how, thick, um, how thick it is, it does relate to how much pressure is required to actually push it through the blood vessels. So for some people with um, certain conditions where they have, say, a lot of cells inside the blood, it makes the blood thicker, um, yeah, they are probably more at risk with their blood pressure. Hmm. And is like high blood pressure compared to low blood pressure, is there anyone uh, of those more dangerous? Well high blood pressure is dangerous over a long period of time. Right. It's, not, it's not dangerous on a couple of occasions because obviously everybody's blood pressure fluctuates sure. depending on activity. So yes, when you climb the stairs, your blood pressure goes up, but then soon after, you know, you finish doing that. Soon it's, after? It's gone back down to normal because you're so exceptionally fit yes. that it goes down really quickly. and. Um, but for, for some people, if they have high blood pressure all the time, day after day, 24 hours a day, then their blood vessels start to have that wear and tear inside far more quickly. Um, whereas low blood pressure is a problem at the time that it's actually low, because it sometimes puts you at risk when it is very low. Um, and so, for example, people with low blood pressure often feel quite tired mm -hmm. and lethargic and quite lightheaded because the pressure of actually trying to get the blood up to the brain is just not very strong, so there's not as much blood getting up there and circulating. 
And it also causes difficulty sometimes when you stand up suddenly, because when you're sitting down in a chair, all of a sudden you stand up and the blood goes whoa with gravity down to your legs. And then in those moments, sometimes there's not quite enough blood getting up to the brain and you might feel a bit lightheaded and a bit woozy. Mm. Sometimes people faint. faint with that, with, with their blood pressure. Mm. So what is fainting? Well, fainting is simply that the, the brain is not getting enough oxygen. So it tells the body it wants to lie down because it's going to get oxygen much more easily when you're lying ah. down than when you're standing up. So it just shuts you off for a minute to get you down yeah. on the floor? Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh, forget to say. Yeah. Uh, what can we do? Uh, I know we're running out of time, but what are perhaps three simple things we can do to have good blood pressure? So, um, exercise. Exercise, uh, maintain a healthy weight and healthy low salt diet. Low salt. Mm. Low salt diet. Low salt. Mm. Difference between iodized salt and non iodized? Iodized salt's important for your thyroid gland. Yes, yeah, so the iodine is added for other reasons not related to blood pressure. Well, we can mm. go on for hours, couldn't we? Mm. What are we going to talk about next time? Do we know, Naomi? Sleep. Sleep. We'll talk about sleep we'll talk next week. We'll talk about sleep week. next time. Dr. Kate, always Excellent. a pleasure. You're welcome, Steve. And uh, thank goodness the lift is fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Blood pressure back Great. to normal. Uh, thanks for joining us. The end of another uh, show here on City News. Any information you'd like on the program, very simple. We're nice people, aren't we? Mm. Not scary. Oh, great. Thank you. Chat with us. Uh, mm. 0734 88984 or flick us an email news at tvroadtodua.co.nz. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.